share, use, and modify the design elements. To host your site, the Superglue mini server runs locally at your home. As our mini server requires less computing power, it's kinder to the environment and provides you with greater control and privacy over the site's day-to-day -day management. As Superglue allows you to manage your own local network, you also have the option to work in an off-grid mode or in areas without internet access. This means you can run your website and communicate to the world without needing to always be online. At Superglue, we believe that these features will offer you more choice while also maintaining the do-it-yourself ethos from which the web developed. And we hope that you'll enjoy using Superglue as much as we have in Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, going back to going back sorry, going, going, going back to uh, DIY ethos from which the best developed, uh, we came up with the idea to run Superglue server on an off-the-shelf device like this one, for instance, or there is a dozen of other devices which are essentially um, uh, ARM or Amtel uh, system on a chip device usually would be like a mini or traveling wireless access point, which in fact is a universal computer, meaning it's got like all the parts, all the bits necessary to uh, to be a server or whatever headless headless machine. It's got actually 64 megs of RAM, which is quite unusual because this one is meant to be a NAS uh, network of flash storage, so it's got that RAM for uh, caching and in fact, it can use this RAM for all uh, for any other application. So we created an alternative firmware based on OpenWRT, on an embedded Linux uh, distribution of OpenWRT, that turns uh, this device from being uh, like a designated uh, access point, turns it into a fully fledged uh, web server with added services uh, such as um, uh, zero conf, for instance, for network configuration and uh, WPS, WPS applicant for. Wi-Fi, and we can run it in uh, local mode, like ad hoc mode, sort of localized with a captive portal uh, type of trick when people would be redirected to it. It can as well connect uh, to the internet, and in fact, it's most interesting uh, being connected to the internet because uh, it provides services such as uh, SSH tunnels and OpenVPN, meaning that even in a uh, like corporate or whatever net network you can get out, you can actually use any type of internet connection available to you at the time and using some, yeah, using those tunneling services for instance or uh, by yeah, forwarding the ports on your home router and using dynamic DNS service, it, you can actually make this box accessible from the net, uh, from the outer uh, internet, which means that effectively uh, you can run your own website at home, just plugging a device like this and sticking a, a USB stick into its USB port, which is very convenient. Uh, you can run your own stuff at your own place. And, as I said, uh, these, these are off-the-shelf devices. So we, in fact, uh, we, are, we are not selling them. We are encouraging people to go to a shop, pick up the right device, and we have a whole thread like on our forum, like how, what device to choose. So we actually advise on a uh, number of models, what models people can, can get and should get, like in different countries, like like here, like in Netherlands, you should go here, in Germany here, in the UK here, and you say you can get it from Amazon. Uh, and and the cool thing about these devices, mainly made by D-Link and TP-Link, is that uh, they come sort of open. Uh, their original firmware allows to upload any other firmware to it without actually having to root or jailbreak the device. So you just get it from the shop, follow the instruction to update firmware, but instead of the Instead of a proprietary update, you just supply it uh, with a super good firmware, which you can download uh, from our website, uh, and it turns it into a it turns it, turns it into a, a super good device that has a control panel uh, that looks like that, and you can define how uh, it needs to be connected to the internet. It can you can choose like the network. Uh, I think I'm, I don't have connection right now, but. Uh, It, uh, from being a proprietary device, from being a designated uh, kind of dumped access point, you actually get the uh, get the device capable of yeah of responding to uh, of, of, of of being a, a web server, 
you know, you can assign uh, the DNS service to it, and uh, as well, of course, it maintains your local uh, own local network, and you can manage the storage. And I mean, it's uh, there is nothing new in it, but uh, it allows the user, an inexperienced user, to turn to modify a piece of hardware that he or she picked up from the shop, modify it in such a way that it will actually become truly theirs. You know, it will keep their data at their home, and and they can regulate how it does it when it does it, and it should do it at all, you know? And I think um, it is fully reliant on the internet, this superglue community, let's say, superglue, uh, a community of superglue sites is fully reliant on those being online, unless it's a local version, our local instance. Uh, nevertheless, I think it is, it is an educational effort, mainly, or in my, in my mind, it is an educational effort, I mean, uh, so by, but by, by running which we are trying to tell people that actually you can make networks yourself, you know, and you can redefine and you can participate in networks which are already out there, such as the internet. You can make your own nodes and you can actually keep them at home and, uh, and, and uh, make that otherwise very cloudy network, make it actually tangible and uh, create your own instance. Um, uh, there is a developer community, like you can, yeah, you're welcome to examine uh, uh, most of the code that is associated with the service, uh, with the project. Uh, so as I said, there are, well, essentially there are two parts. There is an editor, which is a uh, fully JavaScript-based uh, engine, in-browser engine that allows you to create content that can be pushed directly to the server. Uh, it looks like this. So if, for instance, you run your own uh, super server and by default, uh, it, it comes blank, at least at the moment. Maybe later I'll make some kind of welcome that's how to use the page. And then you download a uh, browser add-on which allows you to create uh, content very easily and allows you to, uh, uh, sorry, uh, allows you to upload files and actually create uh, your content on the fly and then simply uh, save it and make it available to the internet, you know, like where we will go to a domain name associated with your box to actually see it and uh, the way the way how do you store this it is what do you mean like when you do this do you have like a database running and then you save this oh it's just a flat file system actually it's just a post that is converted into a file just go to disk and that's it yeah well with, when it's a picture yeah sure but when it is an html page uh, the add-on generates a proper html file, file compliant uh, code and writes it into the file so it's simple. Uh, so we can like we can create a text object and we can uh, yeah uh, define some things. And there are different fonts. And I mean it's it's quite plain at the moment, uh, but it does work. <laughs> and um, we have a number of fonts, also some custom fonts. And you can actually try it. It's, uh, there, is, there, is, well, there is a wireless network called Superglue something, and the password is change me. You can connect to it. <laughs> and under slash uh, extend, extension, you can actually download the, the Firefox extension. We also have Chrome extensions, but since Chrome is not really uh, not a very friendly application, we uh, by default provide only the uh, Firefox add-on, but so you can install it following that uh, URL, and then you'll get this really neat red diamond icon in your browser, which means that you can edit any of your pages. Mm -hmm. Should you want to store them, you need to have your own website, your own uh, so server that you have created uh, 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 to edit. But in fact, uh, even if you go to uh, your IT homepage. You can still edit it. You will not be able to. You will not be. You will not be able to save it. But as I said, for you to have your own server, you could save. You could save the changes to your server, and that's how any superglue website becomes a repository of graphic elements or design elements for any other superglue user because you can just go there, make the changes, and save it to your location. You know. uh, so yeah, that's about it. So you did your website with your, your tool. 
Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> How else? <laughs> I would be a liar if I was about to troll it. Yeah, so. What are the requirements for me to host the SuperGuru instance on my own infrastructure? You mean uh, skipping the device? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without the device? Yeah, yeah. Well, right now there is, uh, I was about to develop uh, like Python and PHP uh, CGI's uh, that can be just run on any server, but right now it's actually finally enough, it's a shell script uh, uh, CGI that, does it, that makes it all work. <laughs> uh, well, mixed with Lua, but... Uh, they can host this binary and somehow... Well, it's not a binary, you can just, you can just download our CGI uh, script, uh, essentially it's a CGI script, uh, and just manage to host it on your own on your own server, I can just uh, very quickly show it to you. Uh, well, slow, anyways. Okay. On, on uh, Git, SuperGuiIT, you can find out CGI's and you can track it in, yeah. Yeah, because this is a good open source alternative to Wix. That's right, mm. yeah, yeah. Well, actually, the second part of the project that's coming, well, right now, you can only make a website, uh, a web page, let's say, but the second part is a wall, it's like a microblogging wall, and uh, so the users can interconnect by befriending Galaxy URLs. So it's also, we are hoping to make it a portable mobile um, microblogging platform. Yeah. Yes, yeah, another question, like you need the uh, add-on right now. You need add-on only to edit. Okay. Yeah. But what about mobile application? Because on countries where laptop is too expensive, most of the people have smartphones. Right. Well, that's maybe one of the next steps, but editing, editing a web page on a smartphone is a, is a tough, tough thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you, it's compatible with mobile uh, Firefox. You can, you can actually install it on your Android yeah, phone and try editing it. Uh, I'd be interested to hear your experience. <laughs> yes. Well, that's it, yeah. Cheers. Great, thank you very much.